There are new developments in the controversy over Islamic art and academic freedom at Hamlin University. Our Derek James has new reaction from the school's faculty. Yeah, you may remember last week, Hamlin University President Fainis Miller admitted to making mistakes in the handling of the Islamophobia controversy. Now, this all dates back to early October when a Muslim student complained about an adjunct professor showing an image of the Prophet Muhammad in an art class. On Tuesday, Hamlin's faculty issued this statement saying, in part, we reject unfounded accusations of Islamophobia, adding that we no longer have faith in President Miller's ability to lead the university forward. We had an opportunity today to talk to Jim Scheibel, president of the school's faculty council, about the decision. Well, there's been a crisis on campus, um, and it's been viewed by the whole world. People are aware we're the oldest university um, in Minnesota. A great tradition of leaders, of people being involved. We want to restore that reputation, and the faculty believes to restore that reputation, to move forward, and even be better, new leadership was needed um, at the top. The adjunct professor, Dr. Erica Lopez Prater, said following the complaint, she was told she wouldn't teach a course during the spring semester. She has filed a lawsuit against the university. The National Council on American Islamic Relations says it recognizes the concerns and impact, but calls academic freedom important and encourages everyone involved to re-examine the situation with open minds. In St. Paul, Derek James, WCCO 4 News. We reached out to Hamlin University for comment on the faculty vote and the group statement, but have not heard back yet.